So you started with sound system, sound system yeah. Yeah. and then and then um, I started rapping, mm. um, doing the whole rap thing. Um, got got signed to Wu Tang. You know what I mean? I'm the only Br- mm. I'm the only British rapper ever signed to Wu. Yeah. How did that That's come how I read about? That still. Yeah. How did that come about? Um, so I was on Choice FM, remember mm-hmm. Choice FM, and I was rapping freestyling on Choice FM, and um, there was a, a phone call came in from some guy saying Mark Cordner. I mean, he was Rizzo's uh, cousin, I believe. Mm-hmm. And he was okay. like, the, I like what you're doing. I'm coming to the UK and they're setting up Wu International, which is like a subsidiary of Wu. So he said, let's have a meeting. I had a meeting with him, let off some bars, showed him what I was doing. And he's like, we want to sign you. So I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, cool, let's do it. So we signed, done a deal with Wu and um, recorded a bunch of tracks. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was all over the newspapers, all over the, the press was going mad because mm-hmm. obviously there mm-hmm. hadn't been another British rapper signed to Wu at the time. And just when things were about to pop, ODB passed away. And then, um, mm. RIP, yeah, R. I. P. man. Then the whole yeah. thing went a bit mad, yeah. They all got put on the shelf, you know, the deal thing. Uh, Why for ODB, but yeah, man, the whole thing got put on the shelf, and boy, so then I ended up kind of like just in a, in a lost place because mm-hmm. obviously you're signed and you can't do nothing else because you, you're signed, mm-hmm. but they're not mm-hmm. doing nothing with you, mm-hmm. so you're mm-hmm. just sitting around, just there, innit? You can't release nothing, yeah. you can't do nothing. So when I got out of that deal, I just started to do my own thing after. How long was you in that deal for? Uh, Five years. Really? Yeah, just sitting there, boy, mm-hmm. just vegetating, mm-hmm. man, mm-hmm. with stuff ready to come out. And like, I can't, but everyone's saying, right, when's the ding dropping? When's that dropping? And you've got to walk around trying to hold your head high, yeah. knowing that nothing ain't coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's okay, I've just. Well, it's a Y3 zone. Oh. Yeah, a y3. <laughs> I did it. I've let them know it's a Y3 zone. <laughs> Trust me, you lot, it's a big people episode. <laughs> yeah, you get what I'm saying? There's mm. going to be a lot of them. It's like action. Remember, it's the action episode. But yeah, boom. I know I'm going back a bit, yeah. Mm. But see, like when you was younger, yeah. Because mm. I think we skipped that. We went a bit too yeah. fast for our show. You're talking too fast. Let me go back. This is gonna, but go yeah, back. like, how did that make you feel? Like, you know, like growing up around white people, yeah. And then they don't like you. Mm. And then black people don't like you. How did that make you feel like towards your own people? Like, I think when I came, when I came to London, um, to be honest with you, it, it, that's why I went to the insects. You understand? It sounds mm. really mad now I look back on it, but that, that was the main reason why I kind of found myself in that place because it was like, obviously, black people like, ain't really showing me love and I, and I couldn't r- relate. Mm. Carl, when you're talking about putting cocoa butter and them things on your skin and, 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 and cream in your hair, I'm putting, I was putting Brillo cream on my mm. hair. There's no white people cream, you know what I mean? Mm-mm. In an afro, who does that? The, the, the thing's all stiff. You know yeah. It's all rock, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, then you're talking about music. I can't relate to your music. I mean, I don't... When I was in Deal, the only black people I saw were on jam jars, like gollywogs and things like that. I didn't mm-hmm. see no other black people. Mm-hmm. So, it was odd. So, for a long um, period of time, I kind of found myself just... I so, didn't no one used to stick up for you? You know what it is, yeah? Because mm. obviously now, it's like they all are uh, black and all this like you get on top of a black person and everyone sticks together and all that didn't no one nah bruv there was none of that back then it was like you were just on your own you know what I'm saying I was Mm. on my own and I feel like there's a part of me that was alienated to my own family as well because remember they all grew up together I didn't grow up with them either Mm. so as much as there's a reality uh, a culture shock for me it's also a culture shock for them Mm -hmm. do you know what I'm saying they must have some kinds of um, things going on for them like my my brother's just coming he had everything and now he's joined our house and do you know what I mean so as much as it was hard for me it was obviously hard for them and also my mum. And I didn't really realise these things until I kind of got a lot older and started doing therapy and stuff like that. I didn't really realise the, the traumas that we go through as young people mm. and how it affects us as we get as we become adults. Do you know mm. what I mean? When did you start I doing therapy? Say. Um, so I started writing my book and over the last few years I've started doing therapy. Oh, recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah recently, recently, man. I had to go back and look at myself, man, and realise why some of the things, some of the, the, the decisions I've made, mm. um, why I made them, some of the anger, you know what I mean? Like, the mm-hmm. amount of things like you know like the amount of pain you've caused people over your life mm-hmm. whether it be through the road thing or in relationships or just how you haven't pain to yourself mm. and sometimes you have to go and do therapy to unpick those things you mm-hmm. don't think you can unpick them by yourself no nah, man I don't think I think sometimes you have to hold someone's hand and go in there with somebody you can't go in there by yourself can't you, mm. go, in, can't you go in there with God um, you can talk to God as well. You don't uh, say that's my best therapist. Listen, uh, yeah, and I agree with you. you I, don't mean, talk, I, think I don't like amen. talking to strangers. I think sometimes it's about good to be able business. to talk because because they, they listen. Do you know what I mean? Non judgmentally. I, I'm saying I don't know you. Mm. I don't even know where you're going home after, and who you're going to lie down in your and talk about this too. 
I'm oh, a parallel okay. you. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Like, trust. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I don't that's know a, you. That's the but is that a trust, trust thing though? That's, that's, that I don't know you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but you get, I don't yeah, know you. I prefer yeah. to talk to my brethren. Yeah. That I, know I just feel like sometimes when sister, you speak huh? to somebody mm. that's coming from mm. a non-biased perspective mm. that doesn't know you or anyone connected mm. to your situation, mm. it's easier for you to look at it. Definitely. Do you, I, want to, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I, that's no, no, what no, I, I promote it. I promote yeah. it. But I'm just saying me, out, yeah. personally, <clears throat> I can't, like, do you know what I mean? Mm. It doesn't sit right Yeah, right. I mean, but obviously. Obviously, if you can get past all of that. Who was it that said they went therapy? Size, size. Big up yeah, size. big up size. But I'm saying, yeah. like, I would, I would, listen, anyone who's got any kind anyone of Anyone that's gone there has only had good things to say about it. Yeah, therapy's an amazing thing. And there's different types. Like the CBT, cognitive behavior therapy, and then there's ordinary therapy. There's so many different types. And I think not all work for It's called gymnasium. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, that was the stress thing for me. I go in the gym and bang up the bags or mm -hmm. push weights or mm. whatever. But Very when good, it isn't it? Yeah, man, you feel mm. good when you leave. But sometimes you need answers that you can't give yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Certain questions you can't you, 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 they help you. Mm -hmm. They help me to answer certain things and understand things about myself growing up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Or walk you back in, like, things that has happened in your life mm. that will make you realise that's when I changed yeah, or that's, that's why, why this that, is or, why this yeah, happened. Yeah, this is why I behave like that. Or Do you get why me? I'm mm. saying... I can kind of reach them conclusions myself. Mm. No, but you, yeah, but you say you can, but you don't know if you can until you reach them because you're, you're, you're going to be biased by yourself. Mm. But that's what I'm trying to say. I, I go through things, isn't it? Mm. Like bit by bit. Mm. It's not, I mean, because you're Rome wasn't built in, in seven no, days. I hear you. I hear you. Do you know what I mean? And I've gotten a lot better, haven't I? Mm -hmm. With my own self That's therapy. Good. But can you imagine with my own self but, therapy? But, but, you get what I'm saying? I've moved on own, a lot, innit? With his own self therapy. Doing all right, innit? Look yeah. how good he's got with his own self therapy. So yeah. imagine if you added someone else's therapy to yourself, then mm. you'd be excelling even more. Man. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? But not my team. You know <laughs> yeah, do you get what I'm not saying? For me. Yeah, yeah, I just don't yeah. feel right in it mm. in yeah. sitting down and obviously I've got nothing against people that go and do that, but yeah, I don't feel I don't feel right. You get me, and the things I've got to say, you get what I'm saying. But I'm going mad. Trust me, can't trust them with them information. Then you get me, man can go to jail. No, anyway, no, I hear you. You see me, but yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Let's move on. So, from dance all now, um, dance all started doing the whole rap thing. Mm. You know what I mean, I was I was uh, rapping. Um, in and out of America, got signed to Woo. I was managed by Robert Bell from Calling the Gang for a while. Hmm. Um, there was a group called uh, PLV. I don't know PLV in America. Sure. Songs out with Jade and those guys back in the, in the, um, the 90s. Mm -hmm. like, you know, so me and the guy from there, we formed a group called Tanaka. Mm -hmm. So I was in, that in, the, in and out of the US a lot, doing stuff out what there. What was that, a rap group? Yeah, it was, it was me and him, basically. We formed a group. This is when uh, Born Americans came out. Mm -hmm. kind of, yeah, so we had this kind of... I was doing kind of raggery hip hop and he was singing. Mm. So we were about to sign a deal with Columbia, but again, he went a bit left. So I was over there um, in America doing a lot. So over the years I supported DMX. Um, R.I.P. Yeah, I opened up for H-Town, I opened up for Jay-Z actually when he came here one time. Um, where was Wu -Tang. that? Wu-Tang. Yeah, Wu-Tang. Where, where, which, where, where, where did he perform that? Do you know what, we took him, um, who, who we talking about first? When you, was, when you opened up for Jay-Z? He, he went to um, a Coliseum, he came to Coliseum. Was it, Col oh, I yeah. feel like, I've, I don't know why I feel like I went to one, I was there. Yeah, I, there. I opened up for DMX. Oh, that's, um, you weren't there, Creepy, you weren't there. <laughs> no, don't say that, because I went to Jay-Z shows and that, but, that one. You know, okay, but that. I'm just saying, I could have seen. Yeah. Is that Coliseum? That one. Okay. Yeah. He took him to Coliseum. Uh, opened Shut up, up man. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> no, I'm going mad because you're, I need her today. Because yeah. <laughs> we're going to get Mimi the blogger out of it. We're going to get the hippo out of it. Today, we're going to get Mimi the hippo out of it. I need my co-host on top form today. Beautiful black you're woman. You know, you're my right. beautiful yeah, black yeah. co-host. You're stupid. My beautiful black co-host. You know what I'm saying? Idiot. Even skinnier oh pregnant. You get what I'm saying? Skinnier than me and me pregnant. You get what I'm saying? Heavier. Ray. I know I'm going mad, but we're going to get her out of here.